What's poppin' bro? It's your boy Zay Jin. You already know the vibes and today we are going over 13 things that I personally feel about the VSET 10 Plus when it comes to riding. All right, so number one, straight out the gate, the thing is fast, okay? We, we're just gonna knock that one out the way. It's, it's fast. Yeah, it's fast. Number two, learning the dynamics of the scooter. You want to ride your scooter as much as possible. You've invested all this money. You might as well ride it as much as possible. That's the only way that you're gonna get better. When I first got my scooter and got on it, it's in one of my the very first video about the scooter that I posted. I got on there and yeah, I, I, I could barely reach 15 miles per hour because I, I, did, I didn't have a good feel for it. So just ride it constantly, ride it as much as possible to learn how it maneuvers and things like that. And in due time, you'll gain all the confidence in the world when it comes to your VSET 10 plus. Number three, this thing is quick, okay? Fast and quick are not the same thing, okay? Have you ever tried to catch a squirrel? Like, it, it's not that the squirrel is fast. Cheers are fast. Lions are fast, but squirrels, they are quick. If you ever just try to chase a chicken or a squirrel or anything like that, they're very quick. Think of your VSET 10 Plus as being a squirrel. The thing is quick, especially depending on how, what you have, your throttle settings, your la, 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 la. put on can determine how quick it's gonna be. Which brings us to number four. Be careful of the throttle. By default, it comes with the, it's a setting, I can't remember. It's a zero and a one setting. And by default, it's on one, which is the kickstart. You want that, because I'm telling you, if you have it on zero and your daughter, son, someone accidentally hits that throttle while it's just sitting there, it's gonna power up. Then you're just gonna fall. And if you're anything like me, I don't want no scrapes or scratches on my scooter. I don't want my scooter to fall into the ground. I don't want none of that. I don't want no dents, no dings, no nothing. Just be careful about the throttle. Number five, I number five, I feel is very, very important, and it's learning the brakes. The brakes are very important. There's also setting for the brakes of how soft or how intense you want them. Um, mines, I believe it's currently on one, one or two. Um, at high speeds, what you do not want to do is you do not want to hit the right brake at high speeds. You don't want to do it. Take my word for it. Use the left one once you get to a more reasonable speed, then you can engage the right brake. Get familiar with your braking, all right? Don't start off fast or anything like that. Just, just get the feel for your braking and go from there. Simple. Number six is foot placement i believe i've talked about foot placement before in one of my videos uh foot placement is very very important if you have your throttle set to high and you have um dual dual motors on you do not want your feet to be side by side when you hit that throttle you you don't want to do that you want to have one foot left or right back on the fender area of the scooter that way when it throws you back you can use that leg to press against it you know and keep yourself from falling off foot placement is important okay now if you're going at lower speeds and you want to have your feet next to each other it's totally fine number seven maintenance check before each ride personal experience the and yes i use lock glue lock tight whatever but still the vibrations the vibrations can and will loosen some screws. Please, please, please be sure that you check the necessary screws, tighten them up, make sure they're tight, you know, uh, just check your tire pressure every time you go out, check your, um, your, your, your screws, especially screws that you've unscrewed. If you had to install something like me, I put my damper on, so those screws, I definitely make sure I check every single ride. Of course, make sure your brakes and things are working. Turn signals is not a registered vehicle, so you don't have to make sure that your brake lights and things like that work. Just be careful when you're out there. But yeah, definitely tire pressure, 
and your screws. Make sure everything is tight. Number eight, wear your helmet, protective gear if you have it. Gloves, elbow pads, shoulder pads, chest pads, back pads, butt pads, thigh pads, knee pads, side knee pads, shin guards, protective shoes, whatever. If you wanna go all out, go all out. Uh, but just make sure you protect yourself, especially if you're living life on the edge on this scooter and you just, you're just on there like, I don't care about life. Be protected. Yeah, definitely a helmet. Protect yourself at all times. Number nine, be aware. Hear me out. Beware of steering wobbles at higher speed. Okay, for me, and this is without the damper. For me, I, um, I experienced slight wobble at around 25 a little bit a little bit higher and it was only because i hit a bump you know it, it caught me off guard so be careful at higher speeds especially if you're not experienced there are a lot of people out there who have you know hundreds to thousands of miles of experience riding scooters and they know how to handle them you know me i'm a beginner a beginner so I wanted to get a steering damper but I wanted to make sure I knew what it felt like without it before I installed the steering damper and now I know so yes once you get comfortable at higher speeds you know just be careful it might wobble just a little bit don't panic when it does wobble just if it does wobble just remain calm number 10 and I nearly found this out the hard way the cruise control function on there can be dangerous if you don't care about the cruise control at first and you're just riding notice how when you have the throttle on it automatically you feel it slow down like you it kind of jerks a little bit you know and your mind programs that like okay when i take my finger off the throttle it's going to slow down you put cruise control on i'm going to need you to remember that you have cruise control on because if, you, if you're going 25 30 miles per hour and like you know a car is coming up or you have a tight turn coming up and in your mind you're thinking that the the scooter is going to automatically slow down because cruise control is not on yeah that can end very badly that can send you into a panic how do i know because it nearly sent me into a panic completely forgot that i left cruise control on and the thing about it is when you go for a ride and you turn it on it does not turn off it stays on for the next ride until you go back in there and turn it off and that's what happened to me i had it on one day and uh thought that it automatically went back to off no no my guy heck no it stayed on sure did I was doing about 30 and took my finger off and thought that I was going to slow down. No, we just kept cruising. Be careful and be mindful of cruise control. Number 11 is also very, very critical. No, hear me out. Know your road. Not know your role and shut your mouth. Know your road. I say that to say this. Know your road at high speeds. If you're going 30, 40 or higher on the road and you're unfamiliar with it, I'm pretty sure people know about these, the little little dips in the roads and the little bumps in the roads that you really can't see until you actually hit it. Like, man, I didn't know it was a bump right there. Or the little potholes and things like that. Yeah, those can be very dangerous at higher speeds, especially, especially without a damper, okay? My advice to you is to study the roads that you want to uh travel high speeds on okay because the v set 10 plus tires are not the same as your honda civics tires or your truck tires that can go over bumps and potholes and things like that and handle it it's, it's, it's not the same okay uh you're going to want to pay attention to the road a lot until you are familiar with that road that you are traveling high speeds on and you know where every bump everything is so it's kind of like when you're going to work every single day that you've been working at this place for like a past year two three four five plus years you know the road that you take every single day you know where every pothole is you never you know where every bump is every crack everything you know that road keep that same energy with your uh scooter because i would hate for anyone to be traveling at high speeds you know having a good time music playing you turn or whatever or look at your speed or your gps or whatever and then you hit some invisible bump or hit a dip and it's a wrap your scooter's mangled and you're mangled 
I don't want that for anybody. All right. So know your road. Please study it. And yeah, number 12, you know, it goes in with 11. Uh, know your roads is watch out for potholes. Pothole will tear your 10 inch tires up. OK, it, it'll mangle them. You don't want that. You've invested too much money to be careless on your scooter like that. So please watch out for potholes. We're going back to 11, know your roads. Pay attention to, you know, where you're driving or where you're riding as much as possible. Okay, watch out for the potholes. And number 13, number 13, numero 13. Boy, if you don't get is one of my favorites, one of the most important ones. Have fun and be prepared to turn heads on your V set 10 plus because you're going to turn heads. People who are used to those little city scooters, you know, the, the plain Jane colors, you know, and, oh, let's the scooter, let's go pay, you know, ten dollars to ride for miles and yada yada yada. And then when the when the battery runs out, we go find another one. No, not on this bad boy. This black and yellow beauty. No, you're gonna turn heads with this, especially if you're all being nice and riding the speed limit of the other scooters. Oh, mom, look at that scooter. That's nice. Can I get that one? Yada, yada. Where did they get that from? Oh my gosh. Turn that bad boy up. Hit the throttle. Dust them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Let them know you are going to turn heads on your VSET 10 plus. Yeah, but be safe, have fun, have so much fun on it. You've worked hard, you've saved your money to get, you know, this beautiful machine. Have fun, embrace it, be blessed on it and be safe. Yeah, man. So guys, those are my 13 things to know about the VSET 10 plus uh, with my personal experience of writing. Yeah, if there's anything else, uh, leave a comment to help either myself or other people who are interested in the, in the V set 10 plus who have not yet purchased it or people who are you know shopping around for scooters like we once were when before we had our scooter because I know I was shopping around I was looking at this scooter this scooter that scooter that scooter I'm like oh man this one looks cool and here we are V set 10 plus gang but yeah yo definitely yeah man I need to take this time to thank everyone who has you know watched my previous videos who have liked it possibly shared it showed their friends and family like oh this scooter is nice yada 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 the guy's pretty cool who does this channel whatever you know pretty cool. thank you to the people who have subscribed definitely everyone who comments like yo i love engaging you know with people about this scooter asking questions i've you know converse with several people on you know my last videos about certain things and it's dope you know i appreciate everyone taking time to ask questions and all that good stuff i love it so keep it up i appreciate it like and subscribe to my channel for more and more and more content to come and you already know what it is always 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 be grateful and embrace the day and until next time peace